Hi guys, showing the buyer point of view, the licensee. Um, he will again enter the front page and can play around with all the links internally and he can go to the marketplace. Um, I will show it the demo on you license because it just has more information right now in terms of all the user base uh, UGC information. Um, so we're switching to license, but it will be the same exactly on GMX. The buyer, there, there are three types of pages on you license. One is the user page, one is the artist page, and one is a song page. Our song is the product. Our artist has all the songs within and the user has all the artist albums and songs on their profile. So let's look at this user for example. We're looking at his uploaded by KVZ Music and this is his company information that he can add. These are his artists and these are all his songs. At any point, and they, these are his albums, I'm sorry. Um, if he added news flash, it would appear here. At any point, I can click more songs and just view a screen with all his songs at once. It will load a player with everything inside it. Fully branded GMX, of course. You see, where I can scroll down and listen. I will go back to his profile. I can also visit artist stores, which I'll show in a second, and I can play the song. A nice player will appear down here and start streaming the music. I will shut this down right now. I can create a playlist at any point on the website. You see, I clicked add. Now it's asking me, do you want to add it to an existing playlist that I already have? Or do you want to create a new playlist? I will, let's say I want to create a new one, Gmix. And just click add and that's done. It saves it. And I can come back if I want to add this song now, it will appear here as GMAX. So let's search for it. It will appear somewhere here. Here we go, GMAX. And I can just keep on adding. It's a very nice tool for, for the buyers. Um, I will show what the artist pages and everything looks like, and then I'll show the back office tools and the search. This is a user page. This is an artist page. I'm just randomly clicking on one of the artists where this artist has the name here, Music Licensing Store, I can send a message internally. I can, um, well, specifically it's a classical music, but I can uh, look at the artist uh, uh, website. I can see uploaded by public URL. These are branded URLs. Again, will be branded GMX360. Hit more, more songs, view all his songs. Similar artists, we have a tool that allows for similar artists and the news flash if he added some the ad words will not be in the page i can also look at the tag words he's put in classical opera and orchestral i can click moods and see the moods he's put in i can bookmark the page in one of million sites and that's it let's look at a song page again i can listen of course the song page looks like this it has the same picture and information but here I can, uh, of course, listen as well. I can license the song, buy the MP3. Download is not a feature that will appear. It only appears to me because I'm an administrator that's currently logged in and I can add to playlist. The important change here is that I can see the metadata he's entered. Type of song, instrumental, subject, none, genres, moods, styles, instruments, and whatnot. I can add a rating to my overall song liking. So I like it, you know, four and I think it's described uh, four and the recording quality is five. Okay, I'm just guessing now. And this affects the search engine. I will explain more about the search engine, but that's in part two of this video. Um, that, those are the basic pages. I can go back and show you what an album page looks like as well. It's just another page we added to the system. Basically, it has a picture of the album all the information, the year released and producer and all that, and the songs related to it, associated with it. Um, let's go and see what the playlists look like. I've created a playlist called GMX now. I've just clicked here. I can view all my playlists here. Let's say here's my GMX one. I can edit the playlist, play all, pop-up player will play everything, share with friends and clients, which I'll show in a second. 
view the public page, which I'll show in a second, or get the widget. This feature is only available for me as an administrator and will be available to you. Because then you can spread around playlists widget that it helps when you want to promote something. This is what the share the playlist looks like. More would like to share a playlist with you, a message, a link to it. I can add email addresses and additional text. It's a good tool to send from client to client. This is what the public page will look like minus the AdWords. Just, you know, just a public page with all the playlists and everything. And I can also click the GMX icon uh, word and I can come to the edit screen where I can change the song order. I can make it public and not public. Okay, you see that it disappeared. I can add a description and add a photo. That's it. That's what you can do with a playlist. So I'll go back to that and in video number two, I will show the search tools. Okay, stop this.